Mr. Foreperson, it's the court's understanding that the jury has reached a verdict in this matter. That's correct. As to charge ID 193-794-7C, charging the defendant, Adam Montgomery, with the crime of second-degree assault, do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty? Guilty. You say that he's guilty, Mr. Foreperson? That is correct. So say you all, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? Yes. yes. As to charge ID 202 7112C, charging the defendant, Adam Montgomery, with the crime of second-degree murder. Do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty? Guilty. You say that he's guilty, Mr. Foreperson? That is correct. So say you all, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? Yes. And as to charge ID 202-7113C, charging the defendant with the crime of falsifying physical evidence. Do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty? Guilty. You say that he's guilty, Mr. Foreperson? That is correct. So say you all, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? Yes. yes. And on charge ID 202-7114C, charging the defendant, Adam Montgomery, with the crime of abuse of corpse. Do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty? Guilty. You say that he's guilty, Mr. Foreperson? That's correct. So say you all, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? Yes. And on charge ID 202-7115C, charging the defendant, Adam Montgomery, with the crime of tampering with witnesses and informants. Do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty? Guilty. You say that he's guilty, Mr. Foreperson. That's correct. So say so you all, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Yes. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to thank you for your service. Uh, you've performed uh, an important civic duty, uh, and that uh, is as to the alternates as well as all the deliberating jurors. What we're going to do now is I'm going to send you back into the deliberation room. Uh, the alternates are going to uh, be able to go back now with you. You can discuss the case with each other. Uh, so it's an opportunity for you to do that. I'm going to take a few minutes with the lawyers here, and then I will come in uh, to discuss a couple of other matters with you further, and then you'll be released from your service. All right. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all rise for the jurors, please. All right. There you go. Guilty on all counts. Adam Montgomery not there to witness it, um, but Crystal Sorry was there, Harmony's mother. Packed courtroom. You see Matt Johnson was there. Um, this is this is the way the system works, and boy, it, it did work. Uh, and, and Julia, we were talking. Both sets of attorneys were fantastic in this case. Um, the prosecution. Their closing was uh, just off the charts, how impactful it was, but also the defense. I mean, the, the defense was given a very difficult set of cards. And, um, and that their job is what hangs you may, you may everything in the balance. Let's listen to the judge. Counsel, we just need to schedule sentencing. I don't know uh, how much time the parties feel that they need. We'll say we are scheduled here. On Thursday the 2nd of March, we're just done. Will both sides be prepared? Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know what, what the courts, the court may not have time, sufficient time that day, so let me just look. Um... No, I, I'm actually going to be in trial that day. I have a docket in the morning, but I'm in trial. After it may be that we need to, maybe we could just get a, some time frame. Uh, let me look to the state first about how long do you need to be prepared? And, and I'll have... We may need uh, to at least go a little bit of time beyond that, I would say. Sorry, I'm just looking at my calendar as well. Better not to give me a date. Just tell me about how far out and about how much time you think you'll need. I think, Your Honor, we're going to need um, roughly four weeks, so somewhere around the last week of March, first week of April. Okay. So sometime after April 1st. I know I'm going into a lengthy trial in April, so uh, we'll see what we can do. About how long a hearing do you feel that you'll need? Based upon my best estimate, Your Honor, is probably at least half the day, so at least a solid three hours. It would be the safest uh, time period to go. If we use less of it, we use less. Okay, um, just knowing what the court's docket is, and then I know I have a three-week trial also in April, it may not be possible to get it in that month, but we'll do it uh, as quickly thereafter as we can, as long as that's sufficient for the defense. 
putting us into May. Um, <coughs> Certainly plenty of time. Okay. Um, if there are other constraints, please let the court know. Otherwise, we'll schedule it as the docket permits in sometime after April 1st. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay. We have jury trials to work around, but small. Okay. Um, all right. I'm not inclined. Uh, I know the parties are preparing sentencing memos. I'm not inclined for a PSI unless somebody feels that one would be needed. No. Okay, very good. Um, sentencing memos, uh, any sentencing memos should be in, um, I would say, given the time frame, if you can sentencing memos in 10 days in advance, that would be helpful to the court. Um, that will give time for the court to consider any information, ample time to consider any information the court needs to consider. Anything else we need to accomplish today? I think, Your Honor, just from the state's perspective, uh, when we do have the sentencing date, we're getting closer. The state will ask under RSA 651, 4-A, that the defendant, whether he likes it or not, will have to be transported here for the sentencing, pursuant to that statutory authority. Okay. Um, if you're going to file something, did you say? File that, Your Honor. Okay. There's, uh, there's very clear a statute on it, there's case law on it, we will provide that to the court ahead of time and do that in plenty of time so that the defense can respond to that um, before we get anywhere near that 10-day mark ahead of the hearing. Okay. Um, anything else the defense wants to raise? Not at this time. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. There it is. Um, boy, the courtroom is packed. Michael J. for wa watching along with us. Uh, no surprise, I guess. It would have been a shocker had they found him not guilty, but still, um, it took him a little longer than we thought. As we oh, see yeah. The defense I, uh, sorry, Ted. Uh, sorry, I had a leg. Um, yeah, no, it's the end of an era, my friend. It's the end of an era. We've been covering this case for a long time. Um, and the crescendo at the end was... Uh, you know, surprising to me. The fact that the jury took that time, took that much time. I mean, I respect that. I, I, I wish all jurors, all jury pools, uh, you know, take time and weigh everything and go through everything. There have been many times in my experience and just in covering cases on court TV where juries come back alarmingly quick and you kind of feel offended, right? You kind of feel slighted. You say, hey, you know, so many people put so much into this case. There's so much, <clears throat> so much there for you to look at, but you came back in three hours, right? But in this situation, we were shocked that they did not come back in three hours. So I, uh, you know, it, it, it kind of a fitting end and a culmination uh, uh, to this whole entire process. And uh, Adam Montgomery, you know, God bless you, buddy. Um, you, 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 you know, you caused all this. You, you've now been found guilty. Um, and, um, you know, do your thing, I guess. And this is a moment for this community, Michael. I mean, we're seeing there the hugs, the camaraderie between law enforcement, uh, the victim's family, the prosecution there walking out, a job well done to them in this. I mean, this is a case where the governor of New Hampshire called Adam Montgomery before this conviction a monstrous drug dealer who should have never had custody of Harmony. So there's been a lot of investigation following this case uh, that goes far beyond just this trial, this murder case. Um,